In this video, I'm going to explain what darkroom safe lights are, how they're used, how they work, and then I'm going to show you an advanced test for darkroom safe lighting, similar to what Ansel Adams used to teach. It's worth being aware there are more than one standards of safe lighting and different types of materials that require different types of safe lights. Today I'll be using the most common type, which is for traditional black and white film, also referred to as silver gelatin paper. So you want to check your paper or film or whatever you want to use a safe light for to check what the standard is. Here this box describes uh, only open under safe light, safe light red or light amber. The reason for that is this printing paper is sensitive to blue and green light and will print under blue and green light. So both of these traditional black and white printing papers are white, they have a light sensitivity mostly to blue and green and when exposed to this blue and green light the emulsion in it becomes activated and will then darken when it goes through its chemical process. So if we want to handle this paper we need to handle it in the absence of blue and green light. Therefore we can see what we're doing with orange light. So there's one with a glass filter. Uh, this one has a plastic filter. They both have a 15 watt incandescent bulb in them. Now something you need to understand about safe lights is that they're not entirely safe for your printing paper. The name implies that it is, but it isn't. It's a measured amount of time that your paper can be safe in what we call safe lights. So safe lights are meant to produce an orange light because orange is the wavelength that the paper is the least sensitive to. doesn't mean it's completely insensitive to it. If you have enough orange light, you will print to your paper. So when testing your safe light, you're measuring how much time your paper is safe for. I require five minutes of safety. Now, since exposed paper is more sensitive to light than unexposed paper, I'm going to dial in a very small amount of exposure to the paper. Now I've fogged the paper so it should be a nice, even, smooth, light grey. But then I'll cover some of the paper. So right now the exposure here and the exposure under this washer is exactly the same. Now if I want to test my safe light's ability to not damage my print for five minutes, I would set this countdown timer to five minutes. This paper is exposed to the safe light in the room. However, underneath this washer, it's completely protected. So now the question is, how much time out here will fog this paper enough to look different to under the washer? So I'll take a timer, set the amount of time you wish to test for. Um, I'd recommend five minutes. Start your timer. Now then when your timer's up, You want to develop your paper. If you can see the washer in the print, then your safe lights have failed to protect your paper for the tested amount of time. I've got some paint on me trying to improve the light proofing. Now this white section here, that's paper white, where the paper was protected by the masking easel. Now this shape of the straight lines, including the middle, that I exposed with the enlarger. Then I protected that tone with the washer left this out in the safe light, the enlarger's turned off, and I've ran a five minute timer. So if that was my picture, this tone here inside the circle, sitting out for five minutes has allowed the safe lights to make this difference. It would be impossible to keep a paper white with your paper out for five minutes in this dark room. I'm not gonna test for that, the safe light would sooner damage my mid-tones, highlight detail, and even my shadows, which is unacceptable. All right, need to reduce the amount of light in this room. You might prefer to look at a successful test. The paper white was preserved by the masking easel. The gray square was made by the enlarger, exposure from the enlarger deliberately, and then 
in the safe light, the orange lights, a washer was placed in the middle and I set a timer for five minutes. Now that safe light has not printed around the washer. There's no visible washer in this. Therefore, my safe lights are paper safe for five whole minutes. And this will be an excellent environment to print.